What's happening peeps and peepets? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. This is going to be a video where we're going to take a closer look at the statistics of the new bundle that Cryptic is releasing tomorrow. Today is 11th and these Strike Wing Escort bundles are going to be released tomorrow. That is 12th of November. Um, so that is something interesting uh, that they're releasing. They're releasing a Federation version and also a Klingon version. So nothing for the Romulans. I know a lot of you guys are interested in the Romulan uh, ship line, but these are not going to be those. So to showcase all of the statistics and information that Cryptic has provided us uh, one day before their release, I kind of need to go to the internet and take a closer look at that and just read all of the information and statistics that Cryptic has provided us. So let's do that right now. So here we are at the information that Cryptic has provided now. Obviously, we're going to get the Federation version and also the Klingon version of these uh, ships. And it's is stated right here, starting 12th of, no of November 12th, new strike wing escorts are being uh, made available in the Sea Store Federation and Klingon characters, along with the respective allied members among the Romulan and Dominion factions. These new vessels will be available for non-fleet and fleet variants as well. Now, it is stated right here for the Romulan and also the Dominion faction. So basically, um, whenever you're choosing... Uh, for the Federation Alliance or the Klingon Alliance, if you have a Romulan or a Dominion um, captain or character that you made, you can basically use these things um, on all of them. So, special introduction price uh, pricing discount from the November 12, 8 p.m. Uh, till November 18th. So basically like a six day run, you can get these ships for 2,400 zen each when purchased individually or at the bundle for both ships at 50% off tier six coupon. So you can definitely use that uh, coupon that, you, that some of you guys actually have, including me. That is basically just staying in my inventory because I'm not using it for only 3,000 zen. Um, uh, thereafter, they will only return the normal pricing at 3,000 zen when purchased individually or 4,000 zen uh, for the entire bundle. And I do want to stress out that whenever you're buying these things that are in a bundle, I highly recommend you guys uh, purchasing the bundle than these ships individually because somewhere down the line you're going to make uh, you know, a character that is based on Klingons or, you know, a character that is based on Federation and these bundles definitely offer a uh, value for your buck if you, you know, if you buy them uh, as the bundle. But that that is just my, um, you know, personal preference. You can, you guys, if you don't have enough uh, resources, 3000 Zen individually for normal pricing. So that's, you know, something to think about. Anyway, moving on. Fleet versions of the Starship will unlock upon completing uh, your Starblaze uh, Tier 3 shipyard. The standard fleet module discount apply if you have uh, purchased the ship from the Steel Store. So you can definitely upgrade these things uh, to a fleet variant. And basically you only need to have the Starbase Tier 3 uh, shipyard unlock uh, if you want to uh, buy the fleet variant of these things. So here we go with the stats for these new statistics, uh, the new starships and statistics are this uh, federation right here is called the Ur, uh, the Urhart, 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 uh, Strang Wing Escort, uh, Escort uh, Tier 6. True to its purpose, a large number of vessels registered with Starfleet are peaceful ships. Uh, freighting moving around trade, uh, freighting moving around trade, medical uh, vessels providing aid, exploration of agents seeking out new lives, science vessel unveiling the mystery of the universe. However, there is no space for exploration, no trade, no freedom uh, to be found at the bottom of this boat. Uh, and as such, the Erhard is uh, one of these, one of those vessels. As a strike wing extort, its uh, function is to neutralize threats so the Starfleet peaceful vessels can do their job independently and in the <laughs> relative safety. <laughs> nice. I don't know who comes up with these tags, but it's definitely awesome. Uh, it comes with a complement cl uh, Class C shuttlecraft to aid in its mission and features new technologies such as subatomic field disruption 
and cascading gravimetric uh, disruption console to ensure it's uh, it's capable of a fully of a optimal multi-threat response. Wow, that's definitely a mouthful, but I definitely enjoy reading these um, these texts right here. So anyway, uh, ship detail tier six. It's only available to Federation and Federation aligned uh, characters or captains. Rank required. Complete the tutorial and basically you can use this thing. Um, a hull modifier of 1.05, shield modifier of 0.95, five weapons on the front, so definitely escort. Uh, aft weapons two, device slots two, bridge officers. We got. Um, I normally skip this thing and go over. Uh, the bridge officer station in the game as well but as I don't have the ship currently I'm just going to read about this so we got an ensign tactical we have a commander tactical we have an, a lieutenant engineering a lieutenant commander science and the lastly we have a lieutenant commander universal slash command station wow that's that's kind of nice to have also command this thing so basically a lieutenant commander universal so you can put everything up there tactical science or engineering at this and also uh command uh as you know as a sub uh um uh, you know sub skill to 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 your bridge officers very nice so we got four, uh, four tactical three engineering and three science uh, console slots uh this has a base turn rate of four 15 degrees per second and an impulse modifier of 0.19 and initial rating of a 70 plus 10 to weapon power plus 5 to engine and also plus 5 to auxiliary power it also comes with a weapon uh, experimental weapon slot equipped it with a subatomic field disruptor this kind of i don't know if this is uh in the game already the field disruptor i believe it is but don't quote me on this uh, it might not be. Uh, also comes with a universal console, the cascading gravimetic disruptors with one hangar bay. So, whoa, wait a minute, hangar bay as well? Okay, so it, we have an escort that is basically five, uh, five weapons on the front, right? And has two weapons on the aft plus a experimental weapon slot right here. Experimental weapon slot and also a hangar bay. Hmm interesting interesting design to be to be said the least and also a you know uh command the bridge officer station that is also a command universal very nice i kind of like it already um we have a class c shuttlecraft i'm guessing there is no updated version of these uh anything better than that it's basically just like from the tv show um, ability package, uh, strike wing escort, precise weapon, tactical maneuvers, quick deployment, devastating weaponry, and we have target that explosion that is a starship trait. Wow, that kind of... kind of want to see what that trait is all about. So we got Admiralty uh, ship details from the Federation. We have Engineering 26, Science 32, Tactical 50, and the Speciality from this ship. You're going to get plus 10 in tactical per a science ship that you have equipped it on the same project. Now we are going to also take care of the um, the Klingon variant. So this thing is called the Sach Strike uh, Wing Ex Escort. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, strike Wing is a perfectly vessel for the Klingon warriors seeking out. Tales of Grolius Conquest, <laughs> conquest. A powerful vessel in um, in a light one. It features a battle cloaking device for optimal tactical setup and a full complement of fighters to aid in combat and a heavy weapon layout for maximum carnage. <laughs> nice. Um, it features improved command abilities, the best coordinated with its fighter of other nearby allies, and a powerful tactical and weapon suit. The subatomic field disruption causes your foe's ship to uh, deteriorate out uh, from the under them. What? Out from under them. And also infect foes that try to aid the vessel, uh, demolarizing, demolarizing uh, your enemies while you defeat them. Lastly, the cascading uh, gravimetric disruption device equipped to the vessel would turn gravity is itself 
against your foes, or weakening and grouping them closer to ensure that you and your fighters will be able to bring uh, them a swift, honorable death. <laughs> wow. I like it. I like it. I love the Klingons. The Klingons have definitely a better uh, better text than the Federation ones. Okay, so uh, tier 6 from the Klingons and Klingons of Light uh, is available when you complete the tutorial. A shield modifier, basically the same 0.15. Uh, shield, uh, 1.05, sorry, uh, shield modifier of 0.95, 5 weapons on the front, 2 on the aft, two, uh, room for 2 device slots, uh, the bridge officer station is definitely the same. We have 4 tactical, 3 engineering and 3 science consoles that are going to scale up with your vessel, uh, so we basically have... 10 of these uh, console slots that are available, 3 science, 3 engineering makes 6, and uh, 4 of the tactical uh, basically makes 10 of them. Uh, base turn rate of 14, impulse modifier of 0 0.19 with an inertia rating of 70, plus 10 to weapon power, engine power, and... Uh, no, sorry, plus 10 to weapon power, plus 5 to engine power, and also plus 5 to auxiliary power at default. Now, this thing also has that subatomic field disruptor experimental weapon slot. Uh, also, the universal console, the cascading gravimetic disruption. Also, has a battle cloak. I love that. So, you, the battle cloak, if you guys don't know, is just an ability to cloak your vessel while you are in combat. So, make sure that you are, you know, there is no high yield torpedo inbound or something like that toward your ship because the battle cloak is basically going to lower your shields and then after a small amount of time is going to uh, activate the cloak. So, if there is like a torpedo inbound or something like that, you basically are exposing your hull uh, to that kinetic damage. Uh, one hangar bay uh, with House of the Mokai Fighters, basically the same deal as it did the TV show. Nothing very special about these things. Uh, so we got the uh, Starship Ability Package, Strike Wing ex uh, Escort, Precise Weapon System, Tactical Maneuver and Quick Deployment, Devastating Weaponry, and Target That Explosion, basically the same trait as the Federation variant. Admiralty ship details for the Klingons is an engineering of 26, science of 32, and tactical for 50, and the special ability when this thing is also plus, ta uh, plus 10 in tactical per science, a ship that you have equipped it on the same project if you're doing Admiralty stuff. So the statistics are copy-paste from the Federation. All of the, um, basically, the Federation and the Klingons have like the same ship, only, you know, it's like a different layout, um, uh, you know, visually. Um, it's basically the same deal, just, you know, a little bit of different ship when it comes to uh, Klingons and Federation, if you compare them uh, with one another. So we have the Universal Console, the Cascading Gravimetic Disruption. Um, that's kind of that's kind of neat. I'm seeing it being, being depicted right here. So we get like this, this this wave of, I don't know, cascading disruptions, I'm guessing, from emanating from your ship to the enemy. Let's read about that. While this console equipped on your starship, um, it can emit a cascading pulse of gravimetic energy. Uh, this pulse will seek out other nearby power sources, most often starship warp cores, dealing damage to and uh, marking all foes passed through. After passing through five power sources, it will uh, destabilize, pulling in and re-damaging all marked foes. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, sure. Um, this console provides a passive boost to uh, energy damage and control expertise. can be equipped in any ship, any, uh, any console slots but only one of these things at any given time. So we have the experimental weapon slot, the subatomic field disruptor. Uh, the subatomic field disruptor damage subatomic uh, field nearby your target for a short duration. The energy released for this process seeks out and will disrupt the, uh, the subatomic yields of other nearby vessels, causing them to also suffer electrical damage over time. Uh, this may be upgraded like standard weapons popped out from any other experimental weapon and placed in any other experimental weapon slot. So 
If you don't have it and you're going to be like, hey, this is something that I want, you can basically use it in other ships as well. Okay, so here we go. With the Starship trade, this is what I actually wanted to um, talk about. Target that explosion. It's kind of, <laughs> the text or the title is kind of kind of interesting, right? Tar target that explosion. TTA. <laughs> TTE. Um, okay, that sounds really bad if you say it like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, oh man, oh Jesus, anyway, I'm going to try to continue, while this trade is loaded, when you activate your command, uh, any command or torpedo bridge officer ability, your next torpedo launched will cause nearby allies to, uh, nearby allies, allies to additional fire torpedo, uh, photon torpedoes at the same target, what? Let me read that again. While this trade is slotted, when you activate any command or torpedo bridge officer ability, high yield torpedo, torpedo spread and all that, your next torpedo launched will cause nearby allies, allies to additionally fire photon torpedoes at the same target. Wow, that is, that is interesting. Nearby allies to additionally fire photon torpedoes. So whenever an ally is going to be near you and you're, you're going to, that ship is, you know, your teammate is going to fire photon torpedoes at the same target. That's kind of, that might be a little bit overpowered to, to say the least. Target that explosion, TTE. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm having too much fun with this thing. Um, so we have the uh, shuttlecraft right here being depicted uh, as the TV show. Basically the same deal, the House of Mokai Fighters. Um, so we go with the fleet variants. I'm, not, I'm just going to skip over these pets because, you know, everybody basically seen them. There is nothing real. Um, very interesting about them. So, uh, fleet variants. So fleet variants of this vessel can be unlocked uh, once completing your fleet. Uh, Starbase tier 3 shipyard, the standard fleet module discount is applied. Uh, fleet starship are specifically designed to support your fleet. They are built to the highest standard and have an increased hull, hit points, uh, shield strength, and additional console slots. So here is the the um, the interesting part about these things and why you kind of need to have the, the fleet variant if you're going to use these ships that are more interesting for you to, to basically to use them. Um, so we have basically the same statistics uh, when it comes, uh, you know, to the base stats, but there is a little bit of a difference right here. So we got a whole modifier, or at least an increasement in the whole modifier. We have a 1.155 modified, and the normal one at a 1.095. So keep that in mind. There is like an increasement right there. Uh, shield modifier as well, 1.095, and I believe it was 95, the normal one. Let me just go up. Yes, right here, 095, and the whole modifier was 1.05, so definitely an increasement in that. So we got a higher hull modifier and also a shield modifier. Now the weapons obviously are not going to change. Device slots are not going to change. The bridge officer seating are not going to change. But we do have an extra uh, science console slot up here. We, the normal variant had three uh, room for three science console slots. And the fleet variant has four of them. Um, let's see, for the rest, this basically all of them are the same. The Admiralty ship had do change. We have a 30 for engineering, science 37, tactical 50, and the special ability of these fleet variants is plus 8 in tactical per science ship or tactical ship. So basically, a tactical ship has come in here if you're going to use them in Admiralty projects. Um... The fleet variant of the Klingons, basically the same deal in statistics and all that. So I'm looking forward to these uh, these ships, uh, to be honest. Uh, and a lot of you guys are interested in, in escort uh, ships because they are like highly maneuverable and basically dealing a lot of 
uh, uh, damage to your enemy in a short burst. So you are those guys that are interested in these things are definitely going to have fun. And as it's stated right here in the beginning, there's going to be on a discount. Um, so four thousand zen for the bundle. I kind of kind of think that might be that might be you know the normal price for these things. You might have to upgrade them to the fleet variant to get like you know the full potential out of these things but you know first glance they kind of look interesting we kind of need to get our hands on these ships and do like a full a detailed review about them but as it is as it's standing right now these things might be very interesting um to uh to get to, to obtain anyway that's it for this video it's just a little bit of it like a preview what the statistics are the real video is going to come like maybe tomorrow and uh because then we're going to get our hands on these ships and uh, we can do like a full review as as it is uh, meant to be so anyway hope you guys are having a little bit of fun and knowledge and in and you know especially information coming out of this channel and i would love to see you guys on the next video that is going to be the review of these uh, ships so with that being said uh, later